copying the the your 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 release version the copying the jar files into the directory and then we can look for for the for the our, our final configuration files what we defined here in the application.eml files application file implementation files we can open this one then we can have exactly the same same definition we have a credential we have a config maps we have a config uh, credential secrets we have a docker files that's the file exactly just simply copy the the latest version that's we have it in the, in the database and into the our versions latest versions and we have it as a application service deployment files and postgres eml postgres service definition file and then application.eml file what exactly the same copy of our our our, our applications when we we did the application exact same copy then we can go it is our i already run this application we can go uh, the the we can we can also stop it you can see cli then we can simply take go the the this for directory and then uh, we can change the directory and then you can see the directory is running and then we can simply cube uh, cube ctl uh, apply your all script minus f uh, uh, minus f sorry minus f so you can see one by one run the your, uh, your application config maps and then <clears throat> because i already run it because it's still there So you see the unchanged files. Even uh, you can see the. Oops. I didn't need it. So we can also change the the Docker, the cube apply for changing the applying the all the files cube, cube CTL apply for the credentials also. You can one by one, or we can simply one by one. I already run it, but you got the idea. How can how can you run? So one by one credentials, and then you need to be on the unchanged file because we didn't change it yet anymore with the latest versions. And then we we can pass the the PostGIS database service definitions, and then then PostGIS database service definitions. And all the all the volume claims, volumes, and then also the service. It take the PostGIS latest uh, latest uh, uh, image from the from the uh, Docker Docker hubs. And finally, we can run the run the run the Spring Boot application itself. So. So unchanged, the application is running. So you have all the information, CLI. Then we can cube CTL, CTL, uh, get all, all the process. So with all the, you see the two ports, uh, the PostGIS ports and the Spring Boot application ports. And then it has a service, service definition, PostGIS, user registrations, Spring Boot application, deployment, PostGIS, and user registration application itself, and replica set is there. Everything is there. So application, that's we are sure the application is running in the port number. This this is the port number 127001548. And then is running application. Just simply, simply, simply write down the commands like, like what we write it here. That's just like uh, Spring Boot. Uh, uh, cube CTL, you can uh, is mini cubes service. This is the commands, the service names, and then you can also the inject the database. I will show you the, the data how it's like. So application is running into the this port number. That's exactly the same port. And so here the information, the local host, the port number at running, and then you have the 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 Swagger UI that's we already configured into the our 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 application in the developments. So it's exactly the what we're putting. So the postman, so we are doing the same configurations. We 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 already changed the global setting of variables. And uh, let's see is the 
is that same port same configurations if you have a different port then you can simply change it like port number and then and then the the, the applica application uh, PC, uh, the IP address and the port numbers and everything should be works so we integrate the actuator I believe it is the actuator application actuate information is, is properly handled properly coming here the actuate information and then all the information and then also you can see the health of the application the his application is running spring boot applications so it's spring up and then you also see the swagger ui documents information that's we are looking for uh, swagger document informations you see the swagger you know all the information we are using the swagger 3 uh, open api 3 so open api 3 versions and has all the definition then there also url definition service definition and input output definitions let's have a check the the database level there is something there so i think there is something in some record information so if i go to the uh, record so it is a last record to uh, 216 so we can go to the 260 the last record maybe we can create one so 216 so we can check uh, oh we can how can we go how can you check the, the the database so we can quit and then cli and then maybe we can go back again the kubectl get all uh, get and get all <coughs> So this is application, the ports and gates, and then we can see the kubectl. We can pass the same port, the kubectl exec it and the ports it. That's the port id in the database level, and go to the database, and they say say see something there. happening so we can check it the export and the export this is the port id and uh, minus minus psql uh, and post this so you see the database we are inside you check it like is in any data there so it shouldn't be any because we are in the we define our database name user registration and database DV then we can go to the user registration DV database and let let uh, let check change database and then we can we can see a D plus we should see the all the database and then select uh, select star from from the from the change log file so we see the all the change log that we have all the defined the full version of the database and even though we can define the the is it any record that we already saw in the record information so that is the record information you see there's a the last record 2216 and the user role tables i'll like see the in any role table that's we in the popular and so we see the 123 is record there so let's have a further test with the postman to, to do the, some insert functions and do the operations